Hey everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC as always, next to my best friend Bob because he's the only one that knows what's going on. How you doing well, today? Well, you're depending on that. We got problems because then <laughs> I think Kristen may be the only one that knows what's going on, but oh, I'm here with my best friend Keith and we're uh, doing shop talk today yep. on we're the learning curve of software. Uh, software. Software. Okay. No. Is it software? Software. It's software. Yeah. We talked about Assembly, assembly last yeah. Time. Yeah. Okay. What is the number one problem that that when you're doing tech support with people that they have with software? Well, I don't know if there's a number one. There's several areas. Um, for some, it's downloading software because our basic sender or basic software suite isn't digitally signed. We're actually looking at how to digitally sign that. So some, you know, Microsoft does not want you to download it unless it's safe. And they also, I think, want to be like Apple where they put it in their store. But that's just Bob's opinion. So that's not, you know, come from Microsoft or anything. But uh, so, yeah, so downloading the software. The second is, is you got to understand that there's, you know, different types of software. And we've done videos on this. Matter of fact, if you go look at the troubleshooting guide, there's one on that and there's shop talks. So, you know, everybody knows, or maybe everybody doesn't know, but there's three types of software, CAD, right. CAM, and then the sender. And it, you know, some of them are together, um, like uh, our Vectric software is CAD and CAM, but you still need a sender. Uh, some people like uh, to begin with ESOL. It is CAD, CAM, and a sender. However, sometimes it doesn't play well with Bob CNC machines. Um, there's some that are, uh, uh, like I said, all three. Uh, one of my favorites is Estel Cam, but it's Cam only. So, so you have to understand the difference. How could it be all three and be Cam? I'm sorry. My favorite is Estel Cam, and it's Cam only. Oh. There's some that are all three. Okay. Even Vetric has, if you have a laser, uh, they have a thing called V transfer. I think it's called, okay. so that it will transfer over, and it will actually work for our CNCs, but. It, it does not, that's not what it was designed to do. So, so yeah, so, so you have, you got to get it installed. You got to understand what software you actually need to run a CNC. And then uh, you have to start understanding what you're doing when you're creating a toolpath. Um, there is a guy, his name's Brian, but his YouTube channel is Wooden Creations with a Z. I have uh, Kristen put a link down there to it, but he's written like an hour video um, uh, on uh, using basic suite software. Uh, there's a 20% discount, I think it is, that we give you for a guy that uh, teaches Vetric software. It's really good. But uh, there's definitely a, a learning curve. Uh, I mean, you have to know the difference between on the line, pocket cut on the inside of the line, on the outside of the line, climb versus con conventional, you know, what type of bits am I using? What is it about the diameter? that is important to the CNC, you know. And I've, we've talked about that. We yeah. Have, yeah, our shop talks about that. So yes, yeah, for like a, yeah. I, I've seen where like people will take a V-bit and because it's a half inch diameter at the top, that's what they put in and then the, the, the program doesn't work like they expect because they're trying to, you know, do something that the program doesn't understand. So a V-bit really is for cutting on the line. You know, it doesn't, it, I mean, people can use it for pocket cutting, but that's not what it's really designed for. Right. So you just have to, you know, you have to understand what all of those things mean in the CAD software and the CAM software. And, you know, so th th there's a lot there to learn. So we have some short videos that Jonathan's done. Wooden Creations done some videos. Um, I wish Vetric I could read. has, Vetric has, 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 has their number. own yeah. videos, but there's a, a fellow that has a class uh, that you went through. Uh, LearningYourCNC.com. Yeah, and Kristen, she'll put a link to that mm -hmm. one too at the bottom of this one so that you can see that. And again, if, uh, if you e email us, we can give you a, get you a percentage off of that class. Right. Right, through him. So. And there's a, when you look at some of those classes, now Vetrix is going to be free. In fact, you don't even have to buy their software at this point. You can uh, run through a number of classes and learn a lot of stuff about CNC and about uh, their particular program and how it operates. And the only thing you gain by purchasing their software is you then have the ability 
not only to create tool paths, but then you can save them. Yeah. And so it's kind of, you get to play around with their software, you just can't save their tool Actually, paths. I think it's pretty neat what Veteran's <clears throat> done. I mean, you know, they, they, their software is expensive and they need to protect it because that's how they make their living, right? So what they do is they let you download it for as long as you want, fully featured, so you can do anything in it with the exception of making a tool pass, saving a tool pass. Right. So uh, we can tell you that once you make that project that our machine will be able to cut it, right? You know, if it's in the, in the size of the machine or the parameters of the machine, but it allows you to spend as much time with their trial version as you want, except for you can't actually make the part, which is their way of saying, hey, if, if you're really wanting to do this, you know, you need to pay for the software. Now they will on their project, so they have like an open sign in some other projects, as long as you don't modify it, they'll let you create the tool path so you can actually try it out on your CNC machine. So that is their way of protecting their software. Um, one that I like, which is the cam only, the Estel cam, uh, you can run it for free, but he makes you wait. You know, he's got that time delay in there, so you have to, you know, wait for the minute or two minutes before you can actually do it. But it's really, that's how he protects it. So if you're, if you're using a lot, you know, you know, pay him the 60 bucks uh, to do that. So, uh, but most of your softwares, you're going to find that they'll have a trial version that will uh, let you give it a try. And we get this every once in a while. Hey, what software should I use? And the answer is, is we don't know because it depends on what kind of person you are. Right. Uh, and you know what your software you're gonna like. Like you absolutely love the Vectric software, right? Yep. Uh, from VCarve Desktop all the way through Aspire. Yep. You just, you know, you just. It's he's intuitive. The, he's he's crazy in there on his computer designs. Got his pulling his hair out and stuff while he's doing crazy scientist stuff. And I uh, I like uh, more simple software. And you say that's intuitive. To me, it's not. See, because I I think differently. So I, I really struggle with the Vectric software. But most people don't, so maybe it's me. It's oh pretty wow, much. it's, it's you. Pretty much it is. Yeah. But uh, I like the you know the you know the stuff that I grew up with in engineering was the CAD and CAM software was really meant to make parts and stuff. So that's why I guess I'm more comfortable with uh, those type of programs, where it's like the Fusion 360 or the Estel CAM or those types. So so the bottom line is is unless you try them out. And you look at this and go, oh yeah, I understand. This works just like I think. That's the software that you want. You know, you don't want to get the software that doesn't work like you think, because then you got to change the way you think. So the the learning curve, though, is that software has been written by somebody generally who doesn't think like you, and so you're going to learn a brand new language. And if you if you move to Germany, you can't be mad at people who speak German. And you can't be mad at totally different syntax or totally different grammar or totally different vocabulary. Well, you can. It just doesn't matter. Well, no, it doesn't matter. You just drink a lot of beer. <laughs> well, maybe that I guess works. there's a benefit. But the, but the deal is you're going to have to get over being frustrated and mad. You're just going to have to learn yeah. the language. And with software... Because all these software guys don't think like the rest of us, you have to learn to think the way they do. And that is the learning curve. And so once you get past that, once you get past being frustrated, all of a sudden what you want to do becomes easier. And it's not because it became easier. It's because you got past the roadblock that made it difficult. Yeah, I remember when you first started with the Vectric software. I wanted to scream yeah, all the well, time. Well, you did scream all the time. Yeah. And then pretty soon you were like, ha, ha, hey, let me show you this. And then, yeah. you know, now, you, now you're pretty comfortable, right, with the project. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, and then I, yes, I am. Okay. Now anyway, I guys. Just remember it. Just know that there's a learning curve in the software, and the more Absolutely. complicated stuff that you want to do, the more complicated the, the learning curve. So yeah. uh, with that, uh, Go ahead and download some trial versions and see which ones you like. And so till next time, we'll see you.